My next guest, Sharam Hadian, is a Christian, he's a Christian pastor and former Muslim. He says that radical Islam is rearing its head in Idaho. He joins me now to talk about what uh, he has been seeing. Pastor Hadian, uh, first off, thank you so much for joining me. Um, Idaho, of all places, Idaho. I mean, we keep hearing about instances like this, uh, you know, Garland, Texas, and Oklahoma. We keep hearing about this, and it just, this is, this is flyover America. This is, you know, the, this is part of the Midwest. Uh, tell me about what you have discovered. Well, uh, Danny, you're absolutely right uh, that you, you tend to see these conservative areas that are being target, targeted, for example, uh, in uh, Irving, Texas, with the Sharia Tribunal. So Idaho, you would think, man, uh, it's a conservative state. It's a Republican-controlled state. But we've exposed the fact that there are plans uh, in Idaho, first of all, um, that we, we know that there are 2,000 Muslim refugees that are being dumped into the area of Boise and uh, Twin Falls. Uh, and uh, just World News Daily had reported, or World, I'm sorry, World Net Daily had reported that 300 of those are going to be Syrian refugees for the first time, bringing Syrian refugees in uh, into uh, Boise area and Twin Falls. Uh, this is to the behest of uh, local lawmakers, uh, mayors, law enforcement. They have no clue where these people are coming from. Right. Uh, okay. And so, and the uh, the FBI uh, testified, uh, Steinbeck testified before Congress that uh, particularly when it comes to Syrian refugees, they have no way of telling uh, the background of these folks because uh, the system is broken in Syria. So they can't verify, are these jihadis? Are they coming in? Uh, so that's just one example. We also know the Muslim Student Association is very active in Boise State. They're, they're getting carte blanche to do whatever they want, including having hijab days on campus where they're allowing uh, women to experience what it's like to wear a hijab, uh, but they would never allow a Christian prayer uh, on that campus or bring a speaker like me in because, you know, I'm too controversial. Um, wow. And also, we know that outside of Boise, there was a plot exposed uh, to develop a Muslim enclave, a specific enclave in Kuna, Idaho, where uh, a Muslim, Bosnian Muslim group uh, is buying property to build 6,000 cemetery plots for Muslims alone. Now, the population of Muslims around the Boise area is about 10,000. So you would think, well, why would they need a cemetery plot for 6,000 Muslims? Once um, a Freedom of Information Act was done on their plans, they're planning to build a close to a million dollar mosque, an Islamic school, housing for Muslims, uh, and the cemetery plot. And so uh, this is clearly an enclave that is being planned. And the Council on American Islamic Relations is taking an interest now in Idaho. Uh, there was a bill that we were able to expose in the Idaho legislature that uh, is opening the door to foreign law and international law in the Hague Convention. And CARE is tracking this bill. So lots of stuff going on in Idaho. And so we have to not let our guard down that just because we think an area is conservative, right. that somehow that means that we're immune. Well, no, and, and I think that's a great point that you make because there have been, you know, just, you know, for instance, in, in, in the city of, or in the state of Texas with like the city of Irving and the city and, and Garland and, and Irving, there's the, this establishment or attempt to establish this Sharia tribunal um, for family court. And just the the reaction of con the reaction against concerned citizens who spoke up and the mayor who spoke up against this, I, and I'm thinking Irving, Texas. I mean, these are you're you're so right in this. I think a lot of people get very comfortable and they get very apathetic and they think, well, you know, this is this is an area where we value limited government and we you know we believe in American law, so this is fine. We don't have to worry about anything like this. But you know, as you're telling me right now, yeah, actually, it get, you kind of do.